My name is Rachel and I'm currently a third year degree student in Fine Art and Art History from the University of Plymouth. Study for A Fish Sale on a Cornish Beach, 1884, by Stanhope Alexander Forbes. This piece is a study for the final A Fish Sale on a Cornish Beach. Surviving studies for paintings and artworks are uncommon. This is a shame as art historians have learnt huge amounts from preliminary studies such as how particular artists created work. You can clearly see there are two sections to this study. The boats depicted in the background and the woman in the front. The loose imagery helps us to see how Forbes worked and translated what he was seeing onto paper. Forbes would have made several quick sketches or paintings like this of people and scenery before starting a major painting, using them for reference whilst working out in the open. One of the nicest things about this piece is that you can really see the brush strokes. Impressionists were interested with experimenting and in particular trying to convey movement within a specific moment. On a whole, this group of artists are known for their use of quick and strong broken strokes in their work. In this piece, you can clearly see bold, flat, square strokes used to build up the image. Impressionism was revolutionary, as painters were no longer trying to recreate a perfect copy, but trying to capture the mood and essence of the setting. Forbes was a keen supporter of en plein air painting, working directly in front of his subject matter, using real life to draw inspiration from. One thing that made this possible was the production of pre-mixed paints in tubes. Prior to this, painters would have to mix their pigment into paint by hand, which is a lengthy and difficult process. This helped the Impressionists to achieve their goal of creating an impression of the feeling of movement and life, rather than a stationary and stale depiction. This can be seen in a fish sale on a Cornish beach. The figures appear natural and unposed, simply going about daily tasks.